From what I understand, you um, do you sponsor some programs in primary schools to teach about the countryside? Yeah, we we, we do a, a number. We have a number of a number of um, initiatives on the go at the moment. Perhaps the one that springs to mind straight away is an initiative called Fishing for Schools, where we're taking. Um, <coughs> kids is the wrong word but but young people who perhaps otherwise end up going down the court route or end up in a in a in a in, in, in inside for want of a better word and teaching them to fish it gives them self-respect it gives them understanding the countryside it gives them a purpose mm -hmm. and we're having huge success in there yes we lack funding for that we need obviously need more funds it costs money to, to take children out of out of out of the, the the education system to stick them somewhere else and teach them and give them and give them that that meaning meaning in life but it's worthwhile we're having having successes there all been a limited scale through lack of funds we what we try and do also is is get children out of the countryside out of the towns into the countryside and organize uh, countryside days where they can experience the countryside they can see it firsthand they can see that connection between the fridge uh, and the cow and the milk yeah. in between uh, they can see what rural jobs mean they can they can understand the role of the gamekeeper they can understand the role of, of, the, of the of the fishery warden uh, and again it's, it's about understanding education uh, and so we Make, we're making huge inroads there as well, with with a, a, a large number of countryside days up and down up and down the country.